guys! Little Woman 21 here, and I had a full day today. I went to my grandmother's 81st birthday party, and she's 60 years, one month, one day older than me, so in less than a month now, I will be 21. Wink! But anyway, today, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be doing another versus. This time, Carrie versus Matilda. Two very different people, but at the same time, very similar. But we'll talk about that. Okay, so, I mean, to be honest, they were both, like, diamonds dressed in coal. Like, Exhibit A. Like, both were bright and naturally innocent. Like, Exhibit B. Both had horrible parents that didn't want them or care about them. I mean, like, seriously, look at, look at Carrie's mom. It's, uh, and look at Matilda's parents. I mean, if you haven't seen these movies or heard of the books or anything, I would definitely get on that. Otherwise, you won't really understand this video. <laughs> but yeah, so Exhibit C, both loved books and learning. I mean, like, Carrie went to the library and looked up all of this stuff about, like, her life and whatnot, and then like, Matilda went to the library from when she was really little and just learned about everything. And Exhibit D, both could take care of themselves from a very young age. I mean, Carrie, she knew how to make a full-blown dress, like, for her prom. And Matilda knew how to cook clean and everything. So did Carrie, and Matilda wasn't, like, old enough to make a dress for her prom. <laughs> At least not yet in the storyline. Um, but yeah, and like honestly, like Exhibit E, both parent uh, parental units essentially hated free thought or um, like learning because Carrie's mom wanted to homeschool her all of her life only from the Bible. That's not exactly a great education. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, for all of the uh, Christians and Catholics and everybody out there that reads the Bible. I mean, it has valuable, like, things in it, like the Ten Commandments and life lessons and things like that. But it's not going to be, like, a history book or a science book or an English book. It's, you know, like, you have street smarts, but you need book smarts to get a job and have a regular life. Which is why the state made her go to school. <laughs> But she was so against it at the same time. And then with Matilda, she kept saying how old she was to her parents and her parents didn't care. Her parents didn't want to put her in there because they didn't want to spend the money. And they put her in a horrible school just because of that. And like, the, like Matilda's father even like took like her book and threw it like during like watching TV with the family, he seriously was like, you're watching TV with the family. It's like, why can't she read a freaking book? She has to be there. Why can't she read it? Unless, you know, she could just go to her room. But no, you want her to be a mindless freak that only wants to watch game shows. Like, it's fine once in a while, but if you want to read a book, read a book. <laughs> like, seriously. Okay. Exhibit F. Both wanted to protect their parents despite their horrible ways. Um, we'll start off with Matilda for this one. Matilda, against those like secret service agent people that were trying to like frame Mr. Wormwood, I think, um, like for illegal car parts, which, you know, they were illegal car parts, but she totally protected him from that. Like, she loves her dad even though he treats her like crap. Same with Carrie, only to a more extreme. Carrie didn't want to kill her mother. Spur of the moment, because her mother tried to kill her. Lots of pent-up anger. But she was so sad when her mom did die. Sorry. Like, I'll put spoilers at the beginning of this, I swear. <laughs> um, but yeah, just as my, kid, my kitten. <laughs> But yeah, it's just, it was just ridiculous, like, because, like, these people, these cute little beings really didn't need to, like, protect their parents, but they did because they loved them. 
Because that's what you do. You love family even though they're really messed up. Unless they try to kill you, because then you can kill them, apparently. Self-defense? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and then... Um, Exhibit G, if you haven't already figured this out, they both have telekinetic powers. I mean, and they also have other attributes that differ, just like uh, Matilda's ability to multiply extremely large numbers and retain pretty much everything she reads in a book, or Carrie's way of being able to look into people and look through things, like see that this chick was pregnant with, I think, a girl, and like, you know, imagine other things and stuff like that. So they're, they were both like very, very talented. And I know you're probably wondering right about now, where did it go wrong if they're so similar? Well, I mean, they, well, one of the exhibits should have been like, they also had a person watching, trying to watch over them at school uh, for the, um, for Matilda, it was Miss Honey, her regular teacher, and for Carrie, it was the gym teacher uh, that even, like, counseled her on what she should do for the prom and, like, encouraging her and supporting her at the prom and everything. It's like, the mother she never freaking had. Because that is not a mother. That is not what she had. No. So... Now I'm getting to the differences, and this is where everything comes into play to pretty much bring out why, what happened in the end of their stories happened. So number one, Carrie's mom was a Bible freak that was crazy and tried to kill her daughter. I mean, the Wormwoods, were horrible people that neglected their kid, but they didn't try to kill Matilda. Well, Carrie's mom thought she was an abomination of Satan and tried to kill her because of it. I would have just embraced the gift. I mean, seriously. It's amazing. It's an amazing gift. I mean, you know, like that would be so much easier to make dresses and fabrics into clothes and things with this amazing gift and she could do double time and think, oh, this child was blessed by God, but no, she went the other route because she, she decided to like not get married before, you know, she did the nasty. And so that resulted in her own shame and grief, which was projected onto her daughter in which she thought that it was a demon child. So that's the back on that. Yeah, not justified whatsoever if you just got, like, problems. Work out your own problems, don't project it onto your kids. All right, number two. Matilda's parents were complete sinners and gave their daughter up easily, but they weren't crazy. Like, they gave their daughter up, but they didn't sell her. They gave her up for adoption to Miss Honey, the awesome hero of Matilda, even though Matilda is like the hero of the story, Miss Honey is the hero of Matilda's life because she was able to step in and totally save her. You know, so. Number three, Matilda's school had a horrible principle that everyone projected their hatred upon. Now, I really, like, do think that in a society, if you can't project your anger out on somebody, because everybody's going to hate somebody. Like, everyone hates somebody. It's human nature because we have so much angst and confusion that we just project it out on something or somebody. I like to put it into more constructive ways, but, you know, I'm human too. I sometimes hate on people, but I try to work on that, and you should too. But Life lesson aside, like... The fact that Matilda's classmates, like, hated the principal took all of the heat off of her. This weird little girl that was way too smart for her own good, having weird freaking powers. Like, come on. Come on. Right now. Allie says hi. 
Hi. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Yep. But yeah, and like for number four, this coincides with what I was just talking about. Carrie's school did not have like the whole crazy, horrible of a person principal problem. And that resulted in projecting all of their angst and insecurities onto this weird little in like insecure sheltered child like that was different and we all know that bullying is live and well especially in the 70s when this when the first movie came out but yeah so i mean she seri like this is seriously why the ending of these things are different so instead of pelting like the principal with all this food and make and shaming her publicly, the school, like the school, a like Carrie school, like she was publicly humiliated, resulting in the whole destruction of a huge chunk of the town. And lives lost, people. I mean, her powers could have been like pushed to be good. Honestly, if she, if she had had at least even one bad teacher, if there had been one weirder kid than her, then she would have been fine. It's society that has pushed this. Like, you know, it's like, oh, it's ho so horrible. You have good teachers and like great lives, but because you're going through problems, like personally, like, Let's pick on the weird kid because they're different and you need everything to be perfect. And because she's not, blah, 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 blah. You know, and this, like, I do have an anti-bullying video, by the way. Like, contributing to, like, the shooting that happened down the street from me. But to really end this, Matilda, essentially in her story, was made the hero, like, against the big hulking villain of, like, the principal. And Carrie was made the vil- like, with Carrie was made the villain, like, the antagonist, like, because, you know, she was the one everyone picked on. And it just pushed her way too far, like, way too far. And Carrie, if that vat of pig's blood hadn't have fallen on her and the bucket killed her date, the gym teacher missed Miss, um, Desjarin, like, Jardin, I, I really don't know how to pronounce her name. Like, would have been Carrie's Miss Honey, because she really was. She encouraged her, she tried to save her from, like, the embarrassments and the ridicule and everything. It just wasn't enough because of society. I mean, does it go on into Matilda's life? Like, why do you think Miss Honey asked her not to use it in public? Because it's different. And people will not treat different the same way. Like, elementary school kids, hell yeah, I want to go on the slides without touching them. You know, like, make me float and fly around. Great, like, you know, great things. But then when you get to high school, it's when you want to be the same as every other person. So when you find a different person, it's like, oh my god, this can't happen. But yeah, it's just... Like, Matilda definitely would have had a hard time in high school but still not as hard as Carrie because nobody's trying to kill her or cover her in pig's blood seriously that was really messed up of those kids to even get the pig's blood like what were you thinking but yeah so that is my comparison um feel free to comment below and hopefully you've gotten some enlightenment or some insight on like these movies, these people, certain, certain circumstances, kitten littles. Yep. Yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Bye. Stay lovely.